what is going on everybody hope you guys got a chance to recharge your batteries this weekend spend some time with family as well as do something fun do something productive outside of the stock market and coming off of friday's trading day for mullen stock we have a record amount of trading volume almost to a billion shares traded on the total day which is absolutely insane mullen is executing on class one ev cargo van deliveries and coming into this week as well mullen automotive may send out or announce an update from the 60-day pilot program with menzies aviation that involves both mullen and loop global charging infrastructure now don't forget with this collaboration with mullen automotive's class one vans and loop global charging infrastructure they will Will potentially be supporting uh, Menzies Aviations with ambitious goals of becoming carbon neutral by 2033, as well as using Muller Automotive's Class 1 EV cargo vans as uh, several use cases across Menzies LAX operations, such as transporting cabin cleaning teams to aircraft. Menzies Aviation is a massive aviation service that has a global fleet of 27,000 ground service equipment, including 8,000 vehicles at 250 plus airports worldwide. Now let's talk about Mullen Automotive's trading volume on Friday, 778 million shares traded coming off of the news of some deliveries to Charlotte UNCC, as well as some deliveries to MGT leasing. But as far as the trading volume, that is a record number. Last time Mullen Automotive traded around that range was back in October of 2022 when Mullen Automotive commenced the strikingly different tour for the Mullen 5. Also, that was 658 million shares traded on that day, October 19th to be exact. But then also there was 631 million shares that was traded back on February of 2022 when Mullen Automotive gave an update on its battery technology. Now with that massive amount of trading volume on Friday, almost a billion shares traded on the day, over 50% of those shares were rerouted off exchange into the dark pool. 442 million out of 778 million did not even hit the lit exchange. And then Mullen Automotive only finished up about 8% on the day with all of the trading volume. The reason why I bring this up is because of payment for order flow, something I've talked about in the past, as well as turning off share lending with your brokerage app so you won't be lending shares out to these brokers so they can give them to short sellers in order to short against the stock. I did a video a little while ago. I will leave that here on the screen so you can go back and watch that. It is for turning off share lending for Robinhood and Webull. With that being said, Wall Street lines up against SEC Chair Gary Gensler on one of its most controversial proposals. Better prices for small investor trades. The most controversial of the proposals involves a change in the way some retail orders are executed. Gensler has been critical of payment for order flow, whereby some retail brokers, including Schwab, ET Trade, and Robinhood, route orders to electronic market makers known as wholesalers, including Citadel and Virtue, who pay the brokers for access to that order flow. They, these wholesalers may send the orders to exchanges, but often match the orders against their own internal order flow. The wholesalers profit from the difference between the buying and selling price Fees brokers receive have allowed brokers to charge zero commission to their clients. Auctions, the industry lines up against it. The auction proposal has generated a large volume of comment letters to the SEC. Many submission letters have been submitted by individual retail investors who support the proposal. A substantial number were motivated by events around GameStop, AMC, and other meme stocks in early 2021. 
and many believe that payment for order flow was a part of that problem. These proposals are potentially crucial steps towards addressing the issues we saw in January 2021 and making the markets more fair for retail investors. Better market an independent nonprofit that promotes public interest in financial reform said in a recent post on its website. How well is your broker executing your trades? Market participants known as market centers, exchanges, dark pools, and wholesalers are required to submit monthly reports indicating how well they are executing client orders. Gensler has been critical of this rule known as Rule 605, noting that the requirements may have not been updated since it was adopted in 2000. He has said investors today need a better understanding of how well their trading orders are being executed. Another important week in store for Mullen Automotive as it looks to try to form another leg to the upside and shorts are planning their attack at any moment possible. Be sure to go back and check out that video I posted a while ago on turning off share lending in your broker job. That includes Webull and Robinhood. So keep an eye out on that 12 cent level. If Mullen retraces back there, that will be a slapping zone in my opinion before Mullen gets another leg to the upside. But that is where I think Shorts will try to push it down to. Ultimately, Mullen has momentum now coming into next week. So there could be some buying pressure right out the gate for the stock to continue higher. Consider supporting the channel, hitting that subscribe button. If you do watch my channel on a daily basis and you enjoy the content, that would help me out a lot. 70% of my viewers are not subscribed. It's been a long road to 1K subs, but I believe we can do this together. That's all I got for this one. I hope y'all find this information valuable. Stay charged up out there. Don't feed the fear, and I'll catch y'all the next one. Go. Go. Ooh. Go. Go. Blessed in abundance. Look who raised from the dungeon. Still come through when the clutch. Come that dime in a dozen. Filling up clean to the function. Niggas mislead with assumptions.